Welcome back everybody to yet another bow review and you see already today I'm dressed differently. I got a bow from Combat Archery Switzerland from Martin Spurry. We had him in a podcast and we were talking and I said listen we have this new Kaya Black K and I sent one to you. So he did. It's not here since a while but I simply didn't have time to check on this bow. Oh, 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 oh. The Black K, new one from Kaya. Nice and nice roborized handle. Nice arrow pass. It's a 46 inch version, has 40 pounds. Pretty black K. I don't know what exactly that means, but I guess they have something special made. The rest, sears, leather hoodie, string pad as we know it. And it's the short one. Bye bye. And it's a short one. What you get is a bow, a string, a handle wrap which you could use and they sent me another string but of course you need to buy this string if you want it's a custom made string and they sent me for my arrows I have custom made arrows in white with two fletchings and for fast shooting with these nice small slightly open knocks I got a few replacement ones and what I got is whistling arrows and directly to tell you don't let others shoot your whistle arrows this one went against the wall and then the whistle had directly broke off but I didn't shoot the bow only we tested the whistling arrows what nice sound they make so what can I tell you the Kaya Black K a Korean bow laminated you can have this bow from 64 to 52 inches. This one is the 64 inch version. It's 40 pounds. You can have it from 25 to 60 pounds. No minimum grain per pound. And the draw weight, I forgot now. It's not written there somewhere, but we get there. You can have this bow from Combat Archery Switzerland. I put the link in the description. It's 200 euros plus 40 for the shipping. So 240 euros, you get this nice and fancy, fast. And this leather handle. It's a really nice, you have a nice flex in handle. And then the sears are 90 degree, almost nice. Looks really premium, this bow. So, and then for 200 euros, fine, fine by me. And of course, today you see that something is different. I had to come at lunchtime at 12 o'clock. That's why you hear the bells now ringing. Because 49 and a half from knock to knock because we only have limited access right now to the range so I had to come directly after the official shooting session uh, because they yeah we have to talk now to the security and they open and close the gates and whatever so we have this arrow pass of course wide as we know it of Korean bows 26 millimeters Fine. Uh, bracelet, I don't know, but we will figure later. So this, I guess, is the custom string. So we use it first with, with the normal one, I guess. I guess this is the normal one. But what little do I know now? Nice string. That looks like the original one, yeah. With these, the, the loops are reinforced at the end. And then you see my farmer's tent goes until here, and this is all white. here I guess this is the longer loops huh? I guess this is the custom made one but I don't know now we use this one if it's a custom made one it's 25 euros if not it's not <laughs> easy peasy but red white could be that this is the Switzer made, made in Switzerland now we should shoot this one because we can 
Toe stringing a 40 pound Korean. This is easy. So easy peasy. Easy peasy. Yep. See, center surfing nice there. Step through method and the bow is straight. Here a little bit <laughs> and here not at all. Nice. Brace height. I measured it again from where the arrow pass is and then we have exactly six inches. Six inches. Great. And what do we else need? Maybe the weight. And of course I need to practice now fast shooting because we need 245. Thank you. You can turn off. Thank you. 345. It's not so bad. Not so bad. And it looks slightly metallic here. It looks really nice. Really neat. Well made. Well made. Inside is black. Pretty bow. And we have a big Kaya logo here, but I'll show you in the photos. Let's see. Moment of truth. This should be 40 pounds at 31. Oh, I can't shoot now. I need to shoot in this direction because <laughs> there are no targets. So, and of course, we get these arrows. They are 500 spine, 330 grain, and only two fletches because for this fast shooting technique they use, it's easier that you line up then the feather between your fingers and then you have the knock always in the right position. But to this we get in another video, I guess. Let's see what it says. Oh, nice. So that's, oui. that's a nice bow. Let's see back there. Wee! Oui. I like it. Really nice. Really, really nice. So let's see 330 grain, 500 spine. Nice. Oh, wobbly. But that's me. Yep. Oh, nice bow. I only don't think that it's 40 pounds, but we see. Nice, nice, really nice. So, really so. For now, you feel a little in the hand, but not a lot. And for the rest, there is one, two, there's nothing going on. It's really nice, mate. This one. 200 euros, 240 including shipping. Let's see, 30 meters. This bow is nice, silent. The left is per pink circle. Let's see if we get there. Uh, almost, ooh, a bit to the right, yeah. A wide arrow pass and a short brace side. Yep, oh, look, overcompensating. String twisting works, but <laughs> of course we have to test the whistle arrow. Now listen carefully. <laughs> Twenty-eight is here. It's thirty-two point two. So thirty. 37.02 and 31. I don't know. It's here kind of. Yeah, 39.6. So, okay, 40 pounds at 31. Doesn't feel like it's interesting. So, let's see. Yep. Of course, short. And we know that it's here like. Already a little beyond, so 27 inches, we have a string angle of 60 degrees. But here this fade out looks interesting. It's quite wide and then you have this bending section, really nice. 30. Oh, look at nice, huh? pretty bow, really nice. So, so leather hood is as we know it, string pad as we know it. Nice mate, here's a little whatever glue or something. It's not so nice. Symbol here. Nice arrow pass. You have this rubbery handle. Of course, you need to put your tape around then. Description, logo. Really nice bow and draws. 
there's not much stacking going on with this bow. Interesting, really interesting. 330 grain, 40 pounds. Oops, 183. Yeah, the air is a little heavy. Could be more lightweight. 183. 195. So, you can work your way. Let's shoot the whistle arrow. It's a little heavier because of the tip. was too short to start whistling. <laughs> 184. So this is what you get out of it with these arrows and they're kind of like good heavy so you could go more lightweight. Awesome. Naya. Yeah. But this bow is silent. Oops, a little wobbly, but that's me. Nice. And now listen. Let's make some noise. No, didn't want to. Nice. So, in the hand, if almost nothing. And vibration wise, there's nothing going on. Wow. Fun shooter. Nah, you only need to know how to shoot. Draws like nothing. So these 40 pounds don't feel like, well, once you do a little whatever. <laughs> wow, really? Wow. And I promise I will practice now fast shooting here, like, you know. Not used to it, so I practice a bit and then we get there. So this I need to practice a lot. Let's try one more time, huh? Yeah, I'm not used to that one, so I need to get used with the fletching and stuff. Excuses, but we get there. <laughs> Martin, I see why you like this bow so much. It really is an incredible performer. So these 40 pounds Nothing, and even, uh, of course, it's a little from here, you feel it, goes gradually up, 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 but there is not that you draw against the wall here, so that's, wow, just, wow. I think it's a, really one of the first Korean bows I had, which there, over there it does stack, so 32, more than 32. So these arrows are 32 and a half. See? There. Wow. Just wow. Sure. A bow, a string, and a handle wrap, but it comes standard with the Kaya. And no description, nothing else. So bow, string, and four points. And of course, he sent me a few, uh, the other string, this custom made string, and the arrows, but of course, they are not in the package. So for 200 euros, you get this. Handling of this bow, it was really, really even a 40 pound. It's so easy to string and the bow doesn't wiggle at all. It's completely straight. So, wow, 10. The build is pretty. Everything looks really nice. We only have here some, you know, we need to be a bit picky. There are some glue leftovers. And there is where the handle is glued. You see the glue coming out a bit. That's not so nice. That does a little harm to the overall. Even here you see a little left of, of the glue is left here. So it's not nice. You can of course remove it, but it looks like a premium bow, but for this, you know, I'm always picky. And this one here, this yellow stuff here is not going to work. So maybe they, maybe you reinforced it, Martin. Can it be, or is it like, does this bow come like this with all these these glue here coming out? So that's not a nice thing to have, but you can remove it obviously. 
but you need to do it. So that's why for this, I need to give you, unfortunately, a nine because this bow is really nice. The basic feel of this bow, the handle feels just right in when you put then the wrapping around and this is just wow. Of course, a little, little, yeah, but see my pinky almost manages to be there. So it's long enough and you have a good hold on this bow and this bow is just, I know why you use it for your combat archery that this is really, really nice bow. Does feels good, is balanced doesn't vibrate or is loud. This is, this is a silent bow, it just works 10. Draw experience, I managed, I managed, I mentioned already. 28, 29, 30, 31, 31 and a half, 32. So there's nothing, of course you feel it, that stacking is coming, but it's nothing negative. Every Korean bow stacks, but this one stacks in a very smooth, very soft way. I really like that, really nice 10. And you need to, con it's a 46 inch long. The others we tested usually are 48 inches and they get stiff at 31 inches. This one doesn't, so really nice. And shooting experience, of course you need a few shots, but once you, uh, this bow is easy to handle, so it takes you only a few shots and this bow will perform nice. The arrows fly nice, 10. So we have 14, 9, 53. And price value 240 euros, including shipping in Europe, five. For what you get, it's incredible. So it's, it's well, it has this nice, I don't know if camera picks it up, this sparkly, shiny stuff here. Handle is really cool. And you see here, it's quite, it's quite a fade out here. Nice, really, this bow. Is, I don't want to say now, but this is one of my favorite Korean bows right now. I really need to do a comparison again. But this one, 240 euros, wow, just wow. So now I, of course, need to practice uh, fast shooting. I'm not a fast shooter by any means. I will practice that. Thank you very much, Martin, for sending this bow to me, for sending the arrows to me and all the, and even here. Uh, okay, thank you very much. It's really nice. So I leave the link to Martin to Comet Archery Switzerland in the description, then you can simply go check him out. He's a really nice guy. You saw him maybe on our podcast. Really nice. Thank you very much, Martin. Uh, I wish you all a happy new year, that you stay sane, healthy and happy. And thank you everybody for watching. I catch you in the next one.